Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Right? Because I'm out with you. For what crime? There is no crime. Face. Look at this guy. He is literally grabbing me and holding me. She took me back into the shower room to dress me out. And so go sit down for me. Hey, don't open up the phone, bro. Talk to me. Hey, put your hands up. I'm not, I'm not. Hello guys, have a seat because I've prepared an interesting video for you, you're in for a lot of illegal arrests and one strange and confusing story. But before we start, I really ask you to support me by clicking the thanks button, even one dollar is very important to me. Thank you, and let's get started. What did you say your name was, officer? My name Sheriff. is Sheriff. No, I know y'all y'all go by different things. And also, we're, I'm an investigator for the Kershaw County Sheriff's Department. I'm out with you, so I ask you to identify yourself. But why are you, are you out with me? Them? Are you not driving? Was did, you not driving? Did you pull me over for a traffic infraction? Well, actually, your windshield's busted. No, did you pull me over for that, though? I got out to check but on you, But did you pull me over for that, though? Yourself. You might be a murderer. What law did I break? What law did I break nobody. that you want to identify me for? Tags not coming back on file neither. Why you run a tag? What traffic violation do I have? Why? Pulled you over a, a, a suspicious am, vehicle. Am I am I pulled over? Yes, you are pulled over. For what traffic violation? For a suspicious vehicle. No, what traffic violation am I pulled over for? Come on, let me get paid. We need some money, don't we? Are you going to identify yourself? No, I'm not. Okay. Identify yourself. For what crime? Because I'm out with you. No, so you're driving down this road. What crime? Am I being detained? Yes, you are, right? Because I'm out with you. For what crime? There is no crime committed. So why am I being detained then? If, I, if there's no crime being committed, why am I being detained? That's a good question, then. You why am I detained? You on this road. You pulled over. I wanted to stop. She was you. sick. Okay. She was throwing you know, up. According to this guy, he was arrested because he didn't show ID. But the absurdity is that he didn't commit any crime. And the cop says it twice in the video. The reason is, what if you're a criminal? But anyone can be a criminal. Is he going to arrest every single person in the city? And when you see me go by, you got in your vehicle, you pulled up and you waited for so me you, to, you, to leave. So you got them coming cold out. three for this? Come out, you pull over. She, Everybody wait. Is she up. pulled? Up. There's a pop oh, wait. Okay. I waited. Why? Why did I wait? So you got them coming cold I'm three for this? I'm you to identify yourself. That's all I ask. Why? That way I know who I'm talking to. We're talking. You would help my wife with something medical, but you're not helping me at all. You're, you're trying to identify me. Like I don't have to help you. I'm trying to help my wife. I'm not concerned with you. I'm concerned with my wife. And I want to. So why aren't you helping her? So why? Well, check on her then. You was out, you check on her. I'm I don't want to be in your system. Vehicle. So what you makes it suspicious? Over. As soon as you see me, you pull up. We was just coming out the store. We just bought dog food. You saw us and pulled over. No traffic violation. What makes it suspicious? It's a regular vehicle. All I did was just want to know who I was talking to, man. And we're talking. I told you who I was. I'm private. I like to keep my keep keep my, my business to myself. Friends, I rarely show videos of cops from other countries, but the following story I'll tell you in just a minute, and you'll see how violent people can be when given a taser. I'm going to go ahead and say that all cops lie in their reports uh, the same way. Police are investigating an incident in which an officer tasered an indigenous man several times in Sydney's east. Police say the 32-year-old was with his girlfriend walking down the street, and when they spotted officers, they went in the opposite direction. One officer asked them to stop before they gave chase for several blocks. Mr. Bradshaw then was down on his knees. Footage has emerged of one of the police officers hitting him several times with a taser. The man was lying on the ground at that moment and did not resist. This footage has provoked a very strong reaction on social media, with some people alleging that police used excessive force. Now Mr. Bradshaw was taken to St. Vincent's Hospital for assessment. He was arrested and charged with resisting police arrest. But watch this video again and tell me, is this what resistance looks like? Prime Minister Gladys Berjiklian said she would conduct a review after the incident. But do we need further checks to understand this atrocity? And we go back to America where a journalist went into a post office and shot a video. I don't know, maybe he was doing a story, but he was shooting a video in a public place where um, uh, there are already a lot of cameras. 
but here's what he had to deal with. What's going on here? I'm just filming, sir. Okay. In the public accessible area. What's Is your name and badge number? Reason? Yeah, for personal news purposes. News purposes? Yeah, I'm an independent journalist. Dilo Santos. Oh, yes, no, that's it. Is your, is your body camera in? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. From I what think... I understand, we got reports of you harassing people in here. So that's not true, and I've got it all on camera. I have only spoken to people when engaged. I've been very quiet and respectful filming the walls. Not really like looking. I didn't ever go to the counter and see personal information or anything like that. Okay. I've only been in the public accessible area. Areas. Okay. And under poster number seven says that for news purposes, I can film in these areas. I haven't engaged anybody. I've actually been very respectful, kind, you know, raised my voice, cursed anybody out or anything. Only when someone's spoken to me have I spoken back. Okay. Hey, good. How are you? So you're no longer welcome on the property. How am I being trespassed if there's no first crime? Hurt. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna listen okay. to you guys. Ma'am, would you make it clear that what you want from him? You're no longer welcome on a property as of today. What's your name? Denira. Denira. Okay, you're gonna get a big complaint, and probably fired. Okay, put your phone up. You're leaving. I'm gonna walk out under threat of arrest, sir. As you understand it, he will be arrested, or as uh, this cop calls it, he will be detained. Explain to me what is the difference between a detention and uh, an arrest if this guy has been forced and handcuffed. And what could be so secretive about the post office lobby that it can be filmed? And now you're being detained. For what crime? For criminal trespass. But that's a secondary. What's okay. the first one? You're gonna get a warning right now. Are you gonna leave? Go outside. Oh, look at how he's yeah. grabbing me. We don't have patience for this. Okay? Oh no, that's fine. But you are actually using use of force that's not I legal. Asked you escorting you outside. No, you're no. You. I asked you to leave. Why are you still holding me and I'm outside? Because you're not walking on your own. I am. I can't walk on my own. Just walk. Look at this guy. He is literally grabbing me yeah. and holding me. Okay. This dude is fired. Right here. Dan, right here. What's your name? I don't answer questions. So you're refusing to identify yourself to us? There's no crime. Under investigation? I only do it under crimes. Okay. You can call me good citizen. Okay. Sir, did they ask you to leave? They did ask me to leave. Yes, you have you're... refused to leave, so that is criminal trespass. What's yeah. your name? Without a crime, I am, yeah. And you did not leave. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm being arrested. You're being detained right now. And if you continue this attitude, you will be arrested. Well, these are torture cuffs, so I think no, I'm being arrested. Tortured. They are. Okay. I don't give you lawful, unlegal search and seizures. That's my Fourth Amendment right. I got there in front Fourth Amendment yeah. right that you just violated by searching me no. without consent. And am I, oh, am I being arrested now? Be insane. I will tell you. Remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that there is one confusing story waiting for you. It starts right now, no one has been punished after this incident and apparently we will never know the truth. But I think um, you should know about it. Jordan Sims was suspected of shoplifting from a Walmart in Safford, but was ultimately arrested for a warrant out of Yavapai County. Sims was taken to Mount Graham Regional Medical Center for evaluation after her arrest. Safford police officer Jeremiah French also went to the hospital. Sims later claims that officer French assaulted her at the hospital. Sims was taken to Sierra Vista for his exam. In the early morning hours, Sims returns to the jail in Safford. Sims was then taken to a shower room to change her clothes as detention officer Kiana Bay supervises. Sims later makes a report about what she said happened to her in the shower room. Then what happens? She took me back into the shower room to dress me out and she shut the door. She had me undress and bend over to cough. And when I bent over to cough, and she said this is what it feels like to really And then she tells me that who is going to blame me because I already just cried wolf. I got what French did to me. Okay. That's why I wasn't going to report it because I didn't want anyone to think I was stupid. The version that she wanted to do something bad to, to herself is strange because Talking to her mom, she made plans for the future and said she wanted to move forward and become a better person. Excerpts of this conversation were caught on videotape. Sims called her mom four different times while she was in jail, the last being on Christmas Day. I love you. I love you very much. I love you, I love you very much. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're the best mom anyone can ever ask for. And I know what I've done to you is wrong in so many ways. Because you're better than that and so am I. I need you, so please don't give up. Up. Having these phone calls, mom, is the only thing that's keeping me going right now. Yeah. Knowing that whenever I'm going to call, you're going to be right there to answer. Then Sims was taken to Sierra Vista for another exam. After the exam and on the way to Mount Graham Regional Medical Center in Safford, footage shows Sims falling out of the police vehicle and laying in the road. Some of the officer's body cam footage has hit the internet. What, what happened? She jumped out. We're almost to the hospital. She jumped out. She got the shackles. Is this Jordan? She, yeah. She got the shackles. She jumped out of the, out of the back. 
Okay. Notify your guys' supervisor. Yeah, we will. Okay. Hey, Jordan Sims, or Jordan whatever, she jumped out of the vehicle here on uh, 20th Avenue. How did an exhausted girl, handcuffed and bound by several seatbelts, manage to jump out of a car? If so, she's the second person in the world who could perform such stunts besides um, Houdini. And uh, busted her head open pretty good. TJ said she got out of the shackles and jumped out of the vehicle. I'm not really sure here. How fast were you going? 35, she went under the wheels. Going 35, she went under the wheels. Was the back door not locked? Or? We locked, we got in. I locked it and she had her shackles on. And she, which door did she come out of? Right here. Okay. Did we want to look shackles or anything? Okay. These are the leg shackles down here and her shoes, which they're closed. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Photos from family show Sims on life support. Two days later, her mom decides to take Sims off life support. She at age 28. Authorities say Sims was idle and likely jumped out of the police car. Her mother, Deborah Sanchez, believes there's more to the story. I believe she was pushed out that vehicle, I honest to God do. I feel like they did like a body dump, trying to make sure Jordan, she ratted out a cop and they were going to make sure she kept quiet about it. Officer French was suspended with pay pending an investigation, while detention officer Bayes earlier this year resigned from her position. An investigation was ongoing. I think this is a story we need to discuss in the comments, but for now we'll move on to the next next video. I think the rudest cops are the ones we meet on the road at night, and here's one of them. I can hear you fine. Do what? You can hear me fine. Okay, then go and step out of the car so I can talk to you, because I can't hear you over the car. So go and step out for me. Hey, don't open up the car. Bro, bro, talk to me. Hey, I'm asking Don't you open up my door no more, okay. bro. Don't do that. I need you to step Don't violate my rights, bro. You can hear me. I can hear you fine. I'm asking you to step out the car. Step out the car for what? Door. You ain't asking me for my license or nothing. I need step you to out step out the car, out the car for what? You need to step out of the car. For what? Talk to me. I am going to talk bro, to you. Well, I, we gonna, you gonna talk, you gonna do, we're going to do this right. We are doing it right. That's no, we're not doing it right, bro. What you pulling me over for? Talk to me. What you pulling me over for? Don't just open up my door no more. Don't do that. Don't violate my rights, bro, because I'm I'm on y'all ass. I'm okay. tired of this shit. I need shit. you to step out of the car. For what? Because I'm asking you. For to, what? Because you're about to go to jail for resisting. I'm not resisting. I want to know why you pulled me over. You you're not. Order. You just pulled me over. You ain't even asking for no life. Tag like, I'm asking okay, you to step you, out of the car. You ain't saying nothing. You just said cut the okay. car off and step out the car. Because I can't hear you, so I'm asking you to step out of the car now. <laughs> Boy, he ain't talking about shit. Step back here for me. Hold on. I want to step in the middle. Step, step out the way so I can get out the way. You, you, can, not, you can step out my Run way. this traffic ah. stop. This guy did nothing wrong and was eventually let go. But I understand the fact that it's uh, like the cops are always sure they have a criminal in front of them. And most of the time, uh, they're on. Maybe bro, you you're not, bro, I don't, stop. no, you don't So work. walk back I'm, here. I'm back here. Walk back to my car. You're about to arrest. I'm already finna be placed on the road. Sure. I'm here. standing back here, bro. You're not finna have me walking in the mud. You don't mind walk on the road. Shut Bro, we're gonna be soft to your tag, like okay. cars, it smells like marijuana. It so don't smell like shit. Okay, we're gonna tell. You got your ID on you? No. You have nothing with your name on it? Probably some mail or something, man. Okay, what's your name? William Harper. Okay, we're gonna hang out till another officer gets to you. Okay, hang out. Just gonna pull my door open, bro. Don't ever grab my door out of here. Oh, wait, no. It's two of y'all. For what? It's two of y'all. That don't matter. Do you have one, sir? Nah, I, I shouldn't. Ooh, you act like you've never been in a traffic stop before. Man, I'd have been in 10,000 traffic stops with y'all. Did you get your car fixed, bro? Ain't nothing wrong with my car. You tag, need tag light. I got insurance and everything. That's great. You ain't talking about no tag light. Exactly. You just gonna pull the car over anyway. Come on, clown. You just gonna pull the car over anyway. We ain't talking about no tag lights. Right, do me a favor, step back here in my car. Just so you can hang out in front of my car real quick. What you finna? What? I'm, I'm gonna search I'm, your I'm, car, so I need you to step back here is what I'm telling you. I'm gonna I'm record you, you so I'm gonna record fine. you. Yeah, I'm gonna record you. Yeah, because y'all y'all. No, I'm gonna record you searching my car. Y'all done set me up before I put dope in my Car. I'm gonna I'm record. Okay. You can step okay. back. And here's what the author of the following video said. The cops illegally forced him out of the car, illegally searched uh, the car, and as a result of the arrest, the driver suffered wrist injuries as well as back and shoulder injuries. And you know what the cops got mad about? Because he asked the, the basis for the arrest. I just don't understand why I'm... I'm Go ahead and open that what, door up. But, but why do I have to get out? I'm, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out who you are. and I, I've given you my ID though, sir. I mean, okay. can I at least... Can I, I'm filming Go this. Ahead and, Go ahead and step out. 
I don't get. Slowly don't, step out the hand for me. Sir, you guys are scaring me. I don't Dude, know. Listen, what. you're fine. We're just I trying mean, to I gave out. my ID. Why, I know, but have the I thing is, you, you didn't give it to me before, but I, and you said I you didn't, didn't have anything with your name on it. I didn't know if I did. I don't drive this car. There's my ID. Okay, why I'm not why didn't you give that to me in the beginning? I didn't know. I don't drive this car that much. My wife always has my my, okay, my billboard. I want you to go ahead and step out. If you but don't for step, what reason, listen, listen to me. If you don't step so out, you you're going to end up going to jail. Just step I out. I know, but I give you my ID. I don't understand I know, why. I have to step out. But I haven't done anything. Step out. But for what reason, though? Listen, I I'll done... talk to you in the back of the car. Go ahead and step out. I haven't done anything, man. Step out. Slowly step out. I haven't done anything. Get your hands up. But, sir, how can I? Just get your hands up. I'm not. I'm not... I'm not doing anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Listen, man. When what? you get, when you're doing... when you're refusing to get out, and I'm telling no, you repeatedly. No, I'm just saying I'm not refusing to get out. I don't want to do. I've had police brutality. Like yeah. I, I don't want to do nothing, man. Like, Green Park is just right. Hey, hey. Friends, right friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss, and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you.